Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy and pleased to be joining you today on the new time for my live stream chanting. Uh, today, Thursday, 9 a.m. in Hawaii, it's the 29th of March 2018. I think it's 2018. And um, I have been doing my live streams about five hours sooner than now. But for now, I have adjusted it to Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this is my first Thursday, in the morning no less. For me, it's in the morning for you, it might be late evening, but uh, it's an adjustment. And actually, I'm still rubbing a little bit of sleep out of my eyes. I was up late last night after a uh, shift in my schedule. <clears throat> but that's okay, and I am here to serve you. So one of the things I was checking on this morning was in the tuning in to, uh, to serve you today. Because typically what I do is I will get up in the morning and I will ask heaven, what do I concentrate on today? What, what wisdom do I offer today? And I receive a message and then I post that and give everybody four or five, six hours notice. <laughs> that did not happen today. So one of the new changes I'm adjusting to. And the good news is it's your adjustment as well. So you get the excitement of what we're going to be talking about. So today's subject matter is going to be uh, on Tao Meditation for aligning our heart and soul. And so I will lead you uh, in about 10 or so minutes. Uh, we'll start moving into that practice on Tao Meditation for aligning our heart and soul. So I look forward to serving you with that. That's what heaven asked me to serve you with. I'm happy to do so. I'm happy to see that we actually have 10 beautiful souls joining us so far in this first few minutes. Because, you know, having shifted my live stream to this morning schedule, wasn't quite sure how many people would be able to join or change their schedule. In the past, we've had uh, consistently about 30 people that find time in their day to stop what they're doing and show up. And uh, I know that that put a kink in some people's um, uh, patterns, I guess is a good way to say it. So I'm grateful for all your presence. And I hope you're able to stick around for this hour. If you're not, if you're new and you're not sure if you have the time for this, please um, <coughs> um, like me. Um, on my page and subscribe and when when that happens uh, you will have the opportunity to come back to my page whenever you'd like watch any of the the programs that are recorded and also um, I do a podcast which is basically these live streams changed into an audio form and you can find more information at my website uh, asoulhealer.com and those are always awesome for those of us that are running around crazy uh, trying to figure out how to get everything in our life that we would like to. Podcasts are pretty cool for that. So we've got a lot of folks I want to acknowledge who's joined us. Welcome, uh, M. Tao Jong. Welcome, Sam Swagan. Aloha, Catherine. And welcome, Kristen Rojas. Aloha, Donnie Rollins and Lorraine Dolan. Welcome, Don Robinson. Aloha, Jamie Vargas. Welcome also to Master Marilyn. <coughs> very, very busy master. Doubt she'll be able to stay, but would love to have her presence. Welcome also to Jennifer uh, Hulin. Welcome, Master Gina Musetti. Aloha. Welcome also to um, Dib Jot and Teresa Brown Ford. Welcome, Dimple. Uh, aloha, Jess Christensen, Lisa Carter, and Agot. Aloha and welcome to all. Welcome, Mike. He's probably down somewhere in Mexico, trouncing around the world. Aloha and welcome to Hannah Moyes and also to Catherine Scusa. Welcome also to Mohammed. I hope you can all stay. I know how busy your life is. Welcome also to uh, Dama Montez. Very happy to have you all here this morning. <laughs> I have to say I'm surprised. I expected maybe five people would show up this time of day uh, because it's my first shift. But let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, uh, as I always do with all the live streams. been doing this last year and a half. And also take note that Kristen Rojas has been supporting me. Uh, and she will post on her timelines anything that I'm talking about. So if I mention a, a, a download or, a, or a, a book or anything like that, just keep an eye on her timeline. She will post the links to that. Thank you so much for that service, Kristen. So let us go ahead and connect. And we have a hand mudra position that my teacher, Master Shah, has taught us. It's like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. And the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. I will invite in the beings of light to set the energy fields for this practice today of Tao Meditation opening the heart and soul okay aloha to Aaron LaBelle and welcome also to Janice Crosby Smith <clears throat> so let us connect 
They're our beloved divine creator. All layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. The soul of all masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. Beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin. Our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. All the heavens generals and heavens animals. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We bow our head with the deepest gratitude for all that you do for us. We ask, as appropriate, your presence and blessings today. To the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the soul of the star, the sun, the moon, all the planets, serving the planet of the light side. We love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Thank you for your blessings. We ask for your presence and blessings today as appropriate. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, we love you, we honor you, and we appreciate your unconditional service. And we invite all souls and all universes to turn on the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to chant with us today, to join with us heart to heart, soul to soul, and offer this service. Again, for anybody that knew, this is a mantra. It has been translated into 24 different, or excuse me, 42 different languages. And Kristen uh, will post the link to it if you'd like to download it. It is a, uh, requested that you chant it daily, play it in your environment and field, and share it with as many souls as possible. So let us chant together to offer this service to humanity. For those that are new, make a request. This is a blessing. Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Woe, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Everybody from your heart and soul, let's sing one more round. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, Ali, Lula. Oh, I was in Harling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Run, ling, run, her musher, shang. Shang, I ping on her, say. Shang I ping on I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls who gather. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you feel the shift? Can you feel the shift from just when you came in until now? This is the power of love. 
it is truly astounding. Love does melt all blockages. Love can melt all blockages. And this is a, sorry about that. This is an aspect of Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. Da Dao Jurjen, the big way is extremely simple. Love can melt all blockages. How many of us suffer in such pain of the pain of life? And we have the answer in front of us. Today we're going to go deeper into that with a Tao meditation. So to, I want to make sure I acknowledge everybody who's joined. Welcome Delma. Welcome also to uh, Aaron LaBelle. Aloha Alifas. Welcome also to Erica, Lisa Carter, Lisa Zarniak, uh, Pri Priska. Welcome also Lindy Loba. And welcome Bob Reed. Aloha uh, to Jim. If I have missed any of you, please forgive me. Facebook doesn't always show your name. Uh, if you post, I usually see your posts. So I definitely will acknowledge you if I see your posts. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you also for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. So first is truly the most important to stay on topic. I want to ask forgiveness to each and every one of you. Uh, I probably only met maybe five of you in person, maybe maybe ten of you at any of Master Shah's retreats. So why do I want to ask forgiveness of somebody that I've never met before in person? Because Da Dao Jur Jin, the big way is extremely simple. Just because I've never met you in person does not mean that our souls are not connected. In the wisdom that many of the great masters and great teachings of the world share. We are a soul that lives forever. Uh, this life experience, live a hundred years, die, live a hundred years, die, live a hundred years, die, is a temporary experience. But the soul has had many, many, many experiences. So your soul, my soul have definitely been together before, no question about it. And one of the scary things actually is that, um, thank you, I love you all, thank you for your love. One of the scary things Master Shah uh, shares with us, he says, you know, we're in the audience and he's talking to, you know, three, four, five hundred of us. And he says, all of you have brought harm to me at some point in time. He says, because, you know, I came back to humanity to serve humanity. I did not have to be here. I came to serve you. I've been here before. I have served humanity many times. I have come back to serve humanity. And all of you have brought harm to me. Some of you have killed me, he said. You know, imagine that. Ugh, your own master. Um, your own teacher. Very hard to hear. Uh, but we have all made significant mistakes. I have very, very likely uh, brought great harm or suffering to each and every one of you. Um, I could have slandered you. I could have caused you to lose your business and livelihood. I could have taken the life of a, of a loved one. Um, I could have done many very unpleasant things in a previous time, and I, and I just don't remember them. And uh, vice versa. This is relevant if we're going to open our heart and souls. In order to move from a place of suffering where we may find ourselves at, we must recognize that even those people that are three, four, five thousand miles away that we only see through a video, we could have blockages with. And if we can clear those blockages, just like we're going to do today, that will actually very positively impact your physical life where you are at with everybody else in your circle. Think about that for a moment. We do a forgiveness practice today and things get better with your boss, your husband, your wife, your kids. Why? Because the debris between you and me you and the other 30 people watching today, and the debris between you and everybody else in your life is there as a result of a lack of love at some point in our lifetime, in our many lifetimes. So in doing a authentic forgiveness practice, even with those that you may not have physically met, you can create great benefits in your future. Another little side note before we go into this practice, that when you do this at the soul level, 
with all those in your immediate vicinity. Because there could be brothers and sisters that you just can't talk to, uh, even parents that you have difficulty talking to. You could have um, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands that are very stuck in their ways, and you can't talk to them either. But one of the beautiful wisdoms that Master Shah brings to us is that at the level of soul, you can accomplish miracles because the soul lives forever. The personality does not. So trying to talk to the personality could be very difficult sometimes. But in asking their soul to come, and you do a deep and authentic love and forgiveness practice, it literally clears waves and mountains of blockages. It can clear so much just at the level of soul. One day, that person you have such difficulty with turns around and acts like nothing's ever happened. They're just, you know, hunky-dory with you. This has been his master, Marilyn. She tuned in. I, I don't know if she's still with us, but she has spoken of stories with this with her relatives where the, some of the people were just quite unpleasant and a lot of forgiveness. And one day they just flipped the switch and it was like nothing happened and they were all just beautiful people. Why? Clearing the spiritual debts. Love melts all blockages. The big way is extremely simple. So let's do a forgiveness practice with each other. <clears throat> I want to start by asking forgiveness to each of you. So dear the soul, dear the personality of each and every one of you, I wish to sincerely apologize to each and every one of you. You have loved ones, you have ancestors. It's entirely possible I could have brought great suffering or harm to you in a different lifetime. I could have been a, a teacher in other lifetimes and made significant, significant false teachings that has taken you down the wrong path and slowed down your spiritual growth. I wish to sincerely apologize to each and every one of you from my heart, from my soul, for any lifetime if I have killed you, if I have taken your life, if I have caused financial suffering for you, if I have manipulated you, lied to you, cheated to you, offered wrong teachings, if I had made vows of love to you, broken those vows, any form of suffering you may have experienced as a result of my thoughts, words, or actions, even my ancestors, I bow my head to each and every one of you and ask for forgiveness. I deeply, deeply, sincerely, sincerely apologize to all of you. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And I know that it's possible that in this wheel of life, some of you may have come and brought harm or suffering to me as a reminder. You know, you hurt me. You hurt my loved ones. I will steal from you. I will take from you. You may have taken my life. Regardless, I offer each and every one of you my unconditional forgiveness. Fully and entirely, completely release each and every one of you, your loved ones, your ancestors. Release any spiritual debt that you may owe me. I ask Kevin to make these notes in the Akashic Records. I forgive you all fully, completely, unconditionally. Now just stay with that a moment. Feel the release. How, how, how. Love melts all blockages. I felt it. My eyes are wet. Because this is the solution. We have so much suffering in our lives. And sometimes all it takes is authenticity. Now I'm going to pause silently. We're going to have a minute or two of pause. And I ask each and every one of you to do your own forgiveness practice. I will chant very low, love, peace, and harmony. I would like you to ask forgiveness to all the souls on this webcast. All the souls that you may have harmed. Lead yourself in this practice. Bring your heart to this practice. And then offer forgiveness to all the souls that may have harmed you, your loved ones. Silence. Begin. Mm -hmm. 
If you haven't already, now start offering forgiveness to all of those in your life that have brought great suffering to you. Forgive them. Release them of this spiritual debt. You may have caused that harm first. Release them. Release your heavy heart. With your eyes closed, imagine, see, above your head, there is a huge ball of light. It is filled with these beings of light. There are angels inside. There are beings that are part of your heaven's team inside this light ball. Even beloved Jesus is in this light ball. There are Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And as you see this light ball above your head, very, very big, certainly bigger than your body, you notice that all of these beings of light are within a massive heaven's temple, a temple made of crystalline light. This heaven's temple is radiating incredible light, diamond light, rainbow light, purple light, golden light, light that you've never seen before. This huge temple above your head is slowly coming down to your body, slowly coming down to envelop your entire body, this heaven's temple with all of the beings of light is coming down through past your head, past your neck and shoulders, surrounding your entire body. You are within this heaven's temple that has completely surrounded you. And as you notice all of the beings of light, they are sending their greatest love to you. Heaven's angels are whisping around inside the temple. There are heaven's animals. Beloved Jesus is blessing you. The Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are blessing you. Take a look around inside this amazing heaven's temple. What is it that you see? Do not stop and type it. Simply stay present in this 
beautiful blessing. What do you see in this incredible heaven's temple that you are sitting inside of? Look around. What do the heaven's animals look like? What does the temple look like? And as you look up, you see a throne. Notice the precious, beautiful light of the one creator on this throne. Receive the love of the one creator. Open your heart. The heavens animals, the heavens generals and soldiers, all the beings of light are whispering around your soul. They are wanting to remove the blockages in your life. They are wanting you to awaken to your soul journey. Open your heart. Receive the light. Open your heart. Open your heart. And as you receive the love and light, this heaven temple picks you up and your entire body and soul start floating back up to heaven inside this heaven's temple, higher and higher. Receive the light. And as heaven's temple continues to float back up, you notice things get brighter and brighter, more pure and healing. See the light coming into your heart, purifying your soul, cleansing your soul. Continue to rise up with heaven's temple. It now passes some beautiful clouds going through the clouds higher and higher. It is now entering the divine realm, God's realm, creator's realm. And the colors become even more iridescent. There are dancing fireflies, dancing lights everywhere. Endless stars, planets, galaxies, and universes outside this gorgeous temple. You are inside, but the temple seems almost like you can see through it. Feel the light. Receive the love. And then, a beautiful soul, tall, white light, flowing gown, comes to you. They reach out their arm, their hand, and you place your hand in theirs and you walk with them and you're looking around as you walk with them. All of the heaven's animals, all of the light radiating to you, clearing blockages. Notice your body is becoming more and more pure, more and more light. And you are walking with this very tall light being, you feel their love, connect to the love of this being of light who is serving you. They are walking you through a very tall corridor, huge, beautiful gold everywhere. And you can see at the end of this corridor is a bright, bright light and you keep walking towards it and as you get closer you can see that it is a heaven's lotus flower bigger than big bigger than you've ever seen a lotus flower it is radiating incredible light in the center is a column of beautiful rainbow gold and white crystalline light that is coming from even higher 
down into this beautiful lotus flower. You are now walking very closely to this. This soul who has been holding your hand guides you and you float up to this lotus flower and you sit down in the middle of this beautiful column of light. Breathe in. Receive the light. Receive the love. And while you were in there, you received a telepathic message from this being who is serving you. And they say to you, in this column of light and love, you can align your soul to your heart, your heart to your mind. Your mind can then direct your energy in your body to heal your physical matter. In this column of love and light, you can clear lifetimes of blockages, pain in relationships. You can release lifetimes of deep grief, sadness. You can heal the loss of love. In this column of love and light, you can heal fully and completely your physical blockages. This beautiful soul guides you to sit in meditation to receive these blessings. And so you do receive the blessings. Receive the light. Listen to the heavenly music and meditate.
become one with the pure love that is surrounding you. Become one with the light. light, receiving heaven's love, allow yourself to completely release all of this life's pain and suffering. And while you are sitting in this beautiful column of light, you hear this message from the beautiful soul that led you here. And this message is that you can return here anytime you wish to receive this blessing. Just ask us to bring the temple down to you, just like today. And then rise up to heaven's clouds. And I will walk you back into this lotus flower for additional blessings and purification. This is your lotus flower. This is your blessing, your place to heal. All of us in heaven love you fully and completely. We have such great love for you. We want you to return to be part of the love and light that we hold for you. And gently, you notice yourself floating off of the lotus back to the soul that is serving you. And they hold your hand and you walk back down the corridor. But you notice you are a completely different soul. You are bright, glowing, pure light, very different than the one that walked down the corridor to the lotus. You are as bright as the one walking with you. And this brings a beautiful smile to your face. And you walk back to the center of the room with all of the beings of light all around you. They shower their love upon you, their gratitude for all that you are doing to help humanity, all that you are doing to release your blockages. And Heaven's Temple brings you back down to your spot, floating back down down to the clouds, back down to where you are at, floating back down. You give your greatest love to all of these beautiful souls that assisted you today. You bow your head to the ground to each and every one of them with the most pure gratitude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And as the Heaven Temple brings you to your physical body and then lifts up 
above you. Your body is glowing this golden rainbow white crystal light. You are still the same pure light being that this beautiful purification did for you. And you watch as heaven's temple floats away from this pure crystalline white body that you now are. Breathe in the gratitude of this experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Countless bow downs, my beloved creator. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for this incredible blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes and share. So we've had quite a few new people joining during this meditation, so welcome to everybody. Welcome Ronan, welcome Bas Van Buren, and Richard Schuping. Welcome also Joy Holm, <coughs> Barbara, aloha, welcome. Leonardo Sousa, Thuiba, welcome Peggy Blake, Swati Toshi, Patty Laramore, aloha, welcome El Elizabeth, Heather Clem, aloha, welcome. Shirley Schuster, Kavita, Simone, and welcome Danta, welcome Donnie, <coughs> you are very welcome. For those that came in late, this was a beautiful opportunity to purify tremendous, tremendous blockages that we hold in our heart. I walked everybody through a Tao meditation, uh, bringing our hearts to the first, uh, to the Heaven's Temple, bringing our soul to the Heaven's Temple. And there was some profound um, blessings that were occurring here. A lot of people don't really understand that it's not just a visualization. This is extremely powerful. And it will just, you know, just watch the rest of your day or evening. If it's evening, notice your dreams tonight. If it's the daytime, notice how blessed, how blessed your day is. It makes a significant difference to be in alignment with your heart and soul and sometimes all it takes is a good 10 or 15 minutes of purposeful alignment we must remember that we are 99% soul 1% of this physical experience and yet very often we stay in this 1% with the greatest suffering as if it was the all and the everything this is one of the keys to realigning to our heart and soul is taking just a little bit of time and remembering that heaven is literally all around us at all times. It is simply at a higher frequency than we are, a higher dimension, if you will. But we are literally enveloped in all of the dimensions. Heaven is not a place, you know, out there in the left field of the universe. Heaven is all around us in a higher frequency, higher dimension. And when we go into a practice of this nature, we, in essence, align our heart and soul to these higher frequencies. You can do this any time, and it is suggested to do so. You can come back and watch this video any time to guide you. I'm happy to serve you in this way. So let us offer our gratitude to all the beings of light, divine Tao and Source, to all the heavenly general soldiers, animals that came to offer their service here today. We bow our head nine times in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, for giving me the insights, the wisdom, and the blessings that I can lead you in this uh, joyful meditation today. I encourage you to share this with others if you have not already. If you came in late, please. Take the time to watch it again. And if you're new, uh, like and subscribe, and you'll be able to come back to this page and watch this again right after I end this. Okay? So, I thank you. I love you. I am so grateful to be able to offer you forgiveness and to receive your forgiveness. 
And I will be back on Tuesday at uh, three hours later than now. It'll be noon Hawaii time. Three hours later than when we started, I should say. Uh, because my new schedule is uh, Tuesdays at 12 noon Hawaii time and um, Thursdays when we started right now. Uh, the music is it's called uh, Namo Ami Tofu. It's a uh, original Master Shah music, and it's very difficult to get because uh, right now, anyway, you have to be at a retreat, and he puts special power into the music. So it was very, very uh, huge blessing he received just through that music. Um, so I love you all. I will see you on Tuesday. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, bye, everybody.